And Kyle is making his National Series debut tonight in the NASCAR k Barrel Truck Series. He runs full-time in the NASCAR K&N Pro Series East for Rev Racing and was a, won his first K&N Pro Series East race at Gresham Motorsports Park. Kyle, talk a little bit about um, your practice this morning and making your debut tonight. Uh, this is my first time in a truck, so I'm just kind of getting used to everything. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like I got the speed decent in the first practice. And, uh, you know, we made a, an adjustment that would hopefully help. And then I, I went out there and broke the transmission and motor shift. And so uh, we had to change that. And that took about all the second practice. I only got out there with about 10 or 15 minutes left. And, uh, you know, just trying to still get comfortable with how the air works and, you know, the, the different – everything I've ever ran before is on a bias fly tire, so uh, this radial tire is quite a bit different and a different feel. So I'm um, just trying to get used to everything and, you know, hopefully I can put it in the race and just get a bunch of laps and get some seat time. And I know with um, making your debut with Turner Motorsports, you has a, a lot of different teammates with Nelson P.K. Jr., James Busher, Miguel Pluto. Have you leaned on them? Um, for advice for the for running Kentucky Speedway? Yeah, James Busher has been a uh, he's been talking to me quite a bit and I've been bouncing things off of him trying to trying to talk to him and you know learn where he's lifting and how hard he's he's running and you know uh, yeah, I kind of told him how I how I felt loose in the first practice and he was telling me what I could do as a, as a driver to kind of fix that so you know James has been good help and you know, I'm pretty good friends with Brad Sweet, too, so he's got some experience in the truck, and you know, he's came from the same background as me, so um, we kind of have the same feel about how the tires are and everything, just about how uncomfortable they are, so you know, uh, those two guys have been quite a bit of a help to me. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up for questioning. We'll go to Joe. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go first. Yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Joe Menzer, NASCAR.com. Kyle, just talk about uh, getting that first win in K&N and, and how you think that series has helped prepare you for what you will do tonight. Oh, and talk a little more about that first practice. That must have been frustrating. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, starting out with – I've never had any experience in full-body race cars before this year, so uh, the K&N the series has helped out a lot, just, you know, getting used to everything and you know I did a late model at New Smyrna earlier in the year so that helped out before the K&N series so um and and going to Gresham and winning there that was that was really cool just because you know I've been, I've been good every race I've just haven't really been good at the end of the race and you know Gresham I focused hard on saving my tires and stuff uh for the end of the race just because you know I most all the races I've been getting really excited and uh you know burning my tires up so I've been kind of slow that slow at the end of the races and you know Gresham there I knew I had a good car so I could really slow down and make sure I saved my stuff and um, I was there at the end of it and you know uh, Kale I kept catching Kale and he I could see him getting excited and overdriving the corners and um, you know there in the last restart I I beat him into turn one and, and won the race so it was it was cool to win my first NASCAR race and you know hopefully I got many more to come. Yeah, the first practice was, I went out there and we were really loose, and uh, we really didn't get that many laps in the first practice because we were making changes. I'd run a couple laps and make a change, and it'd take a few minutes, and then there with a few minutes to go, I, I, like I said, I burnt the transmission and engine up, so that really killed our second practice, and you know, it sucks just because um, I've never been in a truck before, so... You know, I need all the laps I can get, and that really hurt us, I think, or hurt me as far as developing for tonight. But, you know, uh, like, we have three good teammates, and, you know, they were top five after second practice, so we just had a meeting and uh, bounced some ideas uh, with setups. And, uh, you know, I think we'll be comfortable. And, um, just like I said, just trying to get used to everything. And, you know, I'm not really expecting – to do good in the race, I just want to finish the race and get as many laps as I can. Woody came with MRN. Kyle, can you just describe how crazy your schedule has been this year and what's ahead for you in addition to the K&N East where you're running for the championship? Well, just this whole week's been crazy. Uh, I ran Saturday at Langley in the K&N race and then 
flew to Columbus, Ohio to go race um, a 410 sprint car at Cannonball Speedway, which is in the middle of nowhere. And then uh, I won that night, and then we ran Wayne County Monday, and I won that. And then Tuesday, went to Sharon Speedway and was leading that and blew right rear. Uh, and then last night at Fremont, Ohio, I was leading and got passed at the end, which was a uh, it was a bummer. But for the highlight of that night was getting a lap Tony Stewart, so that was cool. And uh, you know, I'm here tonight, and then tomorrow I go to Lima, Ohio, and run. Then uh, Pennsylvania on Saturday and run their speed week. So I get about 15 races in 17 days, I think it is. And then uh, for the next two months, I'll be running about. 50 more races, I think. So <laughs> I'm going to be really busy and uh, traveling all over the place, but I'm not complaining one bit. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Rusty Miller from AP. How did, could you elaborate a little bit how you lost the engine transmission? Uh, well, I was going through the gears, I'm merging up on the back stretch, and, you know, I went from third to try to go into fourth, and I think I might have went down into second and it, uh, broke the transmission and then it over the engine so it locked up and you know I hate it for the guys just because they have, they had to work their butts off to try and get me back out for the second practice they don't take that out of your salary do they, they don't, <laughs> no they don't dock your pay. I don't I don't think so <laughs> I hope not all right Bob huh uh, Bob Hocker Sporting <laughs> News can you um, tell us what your schedule is the rest of this year I mean are you as far as the NASCAR stuff goes? NASCAR? Uh, well, I'm going to finish off the k &N series, and, you know, hopefully if everything goes good tonight, I'll get a couple more truck races. But, uh, you know, just try and take this truck deal one race at a time, and, you know, hopefully hopefully I can do good enough, like I said, to get some more races. And, you know, hopefully uh, Chip, Chip really believes in me, so hopefully we can get some more races. Nothing's really set in stone, though, for anything besides the k &N series. Uh, well, I ran the ARCA race at Michigan to get approved for the mile and a half tracks. And um, so once once I got approved there, the whole truck deal with Turner Motorsports came about. And, you know, glad I can be at Kentucky to make my debut. Okay. 